Welcome to Desire. Our tour of extravagance takes us to Bali for a sip of award-winning wine. We celebrate the career of Haute Couture's anti-establishment queen and peer inside the jewellery box of a late princess. Before dining out on the world's most expensive sandwich. But first... Some very furry objects of desire went on display prior to Christie's biannual auction. On offer were some very rare collectibles with very rare price tags to match. Over 200 bears from Germany, the UK and the US, with estimates ranging from £100 to £6,000, represented all the favourite teddy bear makers from Stife, Chilton and Farnell. These two bears came into us at Christie's over the valuations counter that we hear. This small chap um, came in about uh, three months ago and he was found about 15 years ago on a, on a skip which came into a dump and they've been looking after him ever since. And he's worth about two to three thousand pounds. And this other chap here, which is um, the large bear, came in more recently and actually was found very recently on a skip and is worth four to six thousand pounds. The two rags to riches bears were coincidentally discovered in two different locations somewhere in southern England and presented to Christie's for valuation round about the same time. Oh, these are both early Steiss from about 1909, 1910. And as you can see, that um, if you put them on all fours, they're like a real bear. They've got sort of long arms which basically, and a profile that's very similar to a real bear. Um, and they're, they're very good quality um, and in a nice condition. Um, they often have a button in the air, which is very famous as Steiff bears. Uh, and they're, they're the most desirable antique bears that you can buy. The two bears are worth a combined total of £9,000 sterling. And just why their previous owners decided to rid themselves of them is a mystery to Agnew. It's very unusual because everyone really these days knows how much a teddy bear is worth. They're always on the television. So it's very unusual for someone to throw something like this out. One can only imagine that the owners must be kicking themselves. The sale also featured a wide selection of bears accompanied by photographs of them with their original owners. These range from 1910 to 1950 and add a special dimension to the history of the individual bear. If you're looking for something a little more original in the way of an upmarket gift, some American retailers have some rather inventive suggestions. At Neiman Marcus Luxury Department Store, the discerning shopper can order online instead of standing in line at the crowded stores. Neiman Marcus Direct has compiled a luxury list of holiday gifts to suit every taste. For example, those who like to avoid the stresses of heavy road traffic can buy their very own Zeppelin for a cool $10 million. Elvis fans and show-offs may prefer something a little more down to work, like this $65,000 Las Vegas trike. The his and hers must have, if you've got the money, is your very own bowling alley. You provide the land and for $1.45 million, Neiman Marcus will do the rest. They'll install the freestanding bowling alley complete with four lanes, snack bar and audio-visual high-tech system. But the gift that has many real men envious is a customised suit of armour. Modern technology mixed with 15th century style. What better way to appreciate history? If you think these items are just a gimmick and that no one really buys them, think again. Neiman Marcus has already sold two of the Zeppelins, at least one suit of armour, and the Las Vegas trikes are almost sold out. The Rob Report, a magazine for the very wealthy, has also compiled its list of luxury Christmas gifts. One of its most popular suggestions is the Rinspeed Car, a sporty vehicle which turns into a boat at the flip of a switch. And if you want to actually go underwater, not just glide on top of the waves, there's the underwater aviator, a plane which can fly to depths of 1,500 feet. It's not just adult toys that can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. A few very lucky children might just get some presents under the tree from FAO Schwartz's high-end range. For $300,000, you can buy a motion simulator, a giant pod which moves about, taking you on a high-speed car chase. Or 
or a well-to-do miner could drive their very own car. A Ferrari, of course. The $50,000 fully working car is complete with sunroof, music system and top quality engineering. Ferrari is very nicely appointed. It has got a full leather interior and it's gas powered. It goes, uh, it's got three speed transmission. It goes up to 15 miles an hour. Another favorite with kids, but perhaps not with parents at a $150,000 price tag, is a giant 22 foot long floor piano, which plays music when the notes are stepped on. Made famous by the Tom Hanks movie, Big. Coming up next, Anarchy on the catwalk. Of her work from the punk period. Although renowned for her anti-establishment stance, Westwood was only too happy to lend many pieces from her personal archive to the Victoria and Albert Museum. I, I just 